I decided I wanted to do October daily this year. And in order to do that, I needed to get some supplies. So I went to scrapbook.com because they have a ton of Halloween ephemera and um, embellishments and just different things that I can use whenever I do October daily. And I got a little, a few little things here. So I want to walk you guys through it and show you everything I have because I'm so excited. Um, literally cannot wait for this. So let's start with some ephemera. This is one of my favorite things that I have. Different little embellishments like this, like I feel like you cannot have enough of them. I learned my lesson last year with December Daily. Um, I needed more fun little things like this to work with, to play with, and to have in my scrapbook. So um, different little packs of ephemera. They have different sayings on them spooky we've got cute little owls there's some tombstones these are journal bits so these ones have little cards on there that you can write on with different prompts some of them are blank different shapes this is some ephemera so this is die cut cardstock pieces hocus pocus trick or treat spooktacular there's cute little skeletons this one is frames and tags so cute little frames and different tags and stuff that you can make. Layering. These are awesome for layering. More frames and tags. I really like that pumpkin one. I love this October 31st one. Um, this one's more of the die cut cardstock pieces. This boo down here, that would be cute for a little banner. And then these are more frames and tags. So definitely excited about these. Um, I can't wait to start using them. And then I got some different sequences. Um, these ones are orange and black and they have little um, crosses on there. Different little colors and shapes in there. There's some green, some purple. This one is green and black and silver. There's some ghosts in there. Some spider webs. We have a purple batch. This one has got some monsters in there. Uh, some purple blacks, different colors like that. And then this one is super cute. This one's orange and black. It's got some witch hats on it. There's some black cats in there. Uh, I think that's it, just different little sequences. And then I also got some of these, they're called sprinklets. These are different little embellishments. So this one has some headstones, some ghosts, and then just some fun different little colors in there, the greens and oranges. The black sort of looks like it's shaped like something, but then again, it may not be. Um, this one has pumpkins, candy corn, and some spider webs. And then this one, these ones are cool. They're a little bit thicker. Um, there's some different like balls in there, stars, circles, fun little Halloween colors. These are all perfect for shaker tags if you create those. And you don't have to create shaker tags with them if you don't want to. Um, for example, look at this shaker that I got. It's a coffin. Looks like there's four of them in a pack. Um, I really think that bat one's super cute too. I couldn't find it on there, but that's something that could easily be made. The coffins can easily be made as well. But they're little shaker tags, so then you can put different sequences in there and then shake them. So super fun, excited about that. On the coffin shaker, I thought that there was four in a pack. There is not. Once I opened it, I realized this is one shaker. So that piece right there is the backing. And then you have two of the outlines here to layer. And then you'll put your sequences in there and then this clear piece goes on and then you have the top outline that goes on top of it. And then you have your cute little coffin shaker. I just wanted to clarify that um, I had said that incorrectly and I cannot hold this with one hand. <laughs> but that's what the shaker will look like once it's assembled. Well, without the sequences in it. And then I also got some sugar coated brads. I thought these would be cute to stick on like to hold photos down and things like that. And then I did get some orange ones. These orange ones are super tiny, but I do love them. So there's those. And then I got this paper pad for Halloween. 
Look at that holographic on there. So cute. These ones are just really, really fun Halloween patterns. Like, look at how pretty those spider webs are. I think the thing I love the most about doing Halloween projects and scrapbooking for Halloween is that it can be messy and it's okay. I mean, it's okay anytime that you're scrapbooking if you want to be messy, but um, Halloween is more fun. Boo to you. Look at how cute. Little mummies, pumpkins. Make a big giant candy corn out of that. Ooh, that'd be cute as a candy corn shaker. Like the backing of it. And then use some of these ones because they have candy corns in them. That would be cute. Trick or treat. All right, so there's that little pad. Tons of fun little papers that you can use. And then from there, these cardstock pieces are, some of them are textured and some of them are smooth. So this one is just black, but it's got a little bit of a texture to it. The texture is only on one side. So the black one, this orange one also has a texture. It's probably super hard to see in the camera. Um, it's just a, a faint little texture to it. Um, this one is just a smooth one. This one has a texture to it. This one also has a texture. We've got some fun little bats and these are double sided skeletons, some pumpkins. I love this one. Spider webs, some bright green. Look at how cute the little monsters are. Oh, so excited. Oh, the back of that has spiders. We've got some stars. And then this one has different little ephemera pieces if you want to cut them out. Like this one's super cute. I like that one. I like them all actually. What am I talking about? Um, more spider webs. And this one's got a fun pattern on it. Polka dots. And a good little pattern here like all the colors together I feel like this one would be something that would be inside of Beetlejuice's life like he has a probably a shirt like this um, cute little fun pattern I really like the black and white some more ephemeral on the back purple pattern some pretty ghosts and then orange and purple so there's those ones and then from there, we have some cardstock, or no, just kidding, this is chipboard. Um, chipboard stickers. So you guys can see the different stickers on here. These will be fun to play with. And then this pack that I got, I'm really excited about it. It's got a ton of fun different little things inside of it. So um, I will try to link to everything that I can that I got in this haul down in the description box but I will put a general link for all of their Halloween stuff. So you guys can look through everything, but then I will try to link everything specifically that I bought. So we got some fun pattern papers. These ones are also double-sided. Got some fun ephemera in here. Some of these pattern papers are the same as the other ones that I bought, but I really liked them. So I knew that I wanted to get them. Let's get spooky. So frank and cute. <laughs> I love that. We got some stripes. Some scary trees. Look at them. Ah, I love it. So fun. Those are spiders. Some more ephemera. That's really cute. I love the stars. We got some candy. Another star pattern, some cute little ghosts with pink cheeks, skulls, some more ephemera. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Witching you a happy Halloween. A wooden grain pattern. More of the spider webs and the polka dots. So that's, oh no, just kidding. This is stickers. I actually thought it was the back of. <laughs> When I first look at it, I thought it was the back of like this. So this is the front sheet that comes with it and I thought it was just the back of it. Just kidding, it's actually stickers. Well, that's pretty cool. 
So there's those. And then last but not least, I just got a couple of packs of some solid color cardstock. These ones are more muted colors for Halloween and then these are kind of brighter colors. So that, my friends, is everything that I got to start me off for October Daily. I have this really cute mini bat album that I want to create, and I will make a video of me creating it to show you guys. So if you guys want to make it, that might be something, if you don't want to necessarily do October Daily, it'd be something good to do because then it's a cute mini album, but it's not like a full album. But like I said, I will have everything linked down below in the description box so you guys can check it out if there's something specific that you are looking for. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.